I love traveling solo. I am in control of my trip. I don't have to worry about whether people have the finances or the vacation days or the inclination to go somewhere. I do think a lot of people think travel is intimidating, and it's not. There's no one holding you back but yourself. I think also the cool thing about solo travel is that you learn to trust your own decisions. I usually arrange a walking tour. I get to kind of get a snapshot of my destination, and then I can decide whether or not I want to go back and explore it deeper. It puts me in a position to meet a lot more people. I always say that you're never alone when you travel solo. You always meet people along the way. I went to Budapest. Again, I did a walking tour. I ended up meeting these two guys from Colombia, and they say, hey, you know, we're going to Vienna. Do you want to come? And I said, why not? That's probably one of the things I love the most about just not having any agenda, letting things happen, letting things just flow, enjoying every moment of it. Sometimes it's the people who are officially your guides who are the best guides. So I was staying in Fisherman's Wharf, and instead of asking the concierge, I asked the door guide. So I said, uh, you know, I really want to...